Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea, Rhea for short, and I'm here to do your money and career reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising for September 2020. So without further ado, let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, money and career, September 2020, please. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Thank you. <laughs> we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. So that is the tar Tarot of Dreams, even. Uh, this is the Energy Deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Really beautiful deck of cards. And we also have the Angel Answer Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, I've just had this for Virgo. Victory. There is triumph and victory here. I like this energy in money and career. Okay. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels. What is the message Capricorn needs to hear? Yeah. Perfect timing. It feels that way. It really does. Nice energy. It's like the time is now. Time to act, time to strike. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely energy. Okay. So Capricorn, this month I am pulling five cards. The first card is your current situation. The second card is the challenge you face in money and career, finances. Third card is what is going for you? What are the strengths of the situation? Fourth card is the advice from spirit. And the fifth card is your outcome. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. It will not resonate for everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guide, Money, Career. Thank you. I've got the Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords is your challenge. It's a card of Gemini. Two of Wands. This has come out for all three Earth signs. Um, this is what's going for you. There you are. Advice from Spirit. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. And your outcome Capricorn. Ah! <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Lovely. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Capricorn. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Money and career for September 2020, please. Starting with the current situation, this Nine of Swords. Yeah, thank you. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups clarifies this Knight of Swords. Yeah, what's going for you? We have the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the Two of Wands. The Advice from Spirit, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Three of Cups. Very nice energy. And the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. I've got three knights now. There is big change on the cards. It's big positive change. Okay, Capricorn. This is really beautiful. So, the Seven of Swords. You're doing something under the radar. You're keeping your cards close to your chest to bring a turning point to a situation here. You might be going for another job and just keeping it quiet. You might be setting up your own business and keeping it quiet. I feel you're going for another job here in this instance and you want to get more money. I think we've had this. I feel I've had this, a similar message for you before because there's a feeling of, of 
you're going for something better here in this instance and now is the time to strike but it's almost kind of like you're keeping things to yourself because obviously if people knew then it would affect your current position maybe so and this is somebody who is strategically acting covertly you know um, but you know that's what sometimes we need to do you know in order to bring change to our situation and change is coming your way there is some victory here capricorn this is a wonderful victory and i think it's i mean this is the triumph the success card you will be successful there is some covert tactics but i do feel it's your time your time to be successful the time is perfect it's a beautiful beautiful energy i mean this is the angel card the universe is saying now is your time you are coming into your own this is your time to be back in your element because I do feel for some of you, you've been knocked off that a little bit. And I think it's by your current place of work. You know, the Nine of Swords is anxiety, stress, upset. That is really disrupting your routines. You might be worried about your current money situation. You might be worried about how secure you are right now. Um, this could also be for whatever reason someone is making you feel or a situation or people even are making you feel stressed anxious worried upset and it's causing you some sleepless nights when this card appears there's a message here Capricorn you know the mind is your best friend or your worst enemy I say this a lot and this is when when the mind focuses on something negative it really distorts it so there's a need to regroup when this appears in some ways. Um, Knight of Pentacles, it is to do with your money career. The, the, the message with the Knight of Pentacles is ground yourself. Focus on the practical things that you need to do because I do feel for some of you the offer is coming. Um, this can be an offer or an opportunity but in this, in this reading I do feel that you're working covertly towards, it might well be towards a new job. Um, because I think you're anxious, stressed, worried about your current situation for whatever reason. The Knight of Pentacles is don't allow your mind to play tricks on you here, however difficult it is. Try and ground yourself. Do what you do best. Do the practical things that you need to do. Do the practical work. Put your talents, your focus towards something productive. Because I do feel in this sense the reward is coming your way, the offer is coming your way. You are finding how to bring change to your situation. So we've got the Knight of Swords here. Now, the Knight of Swords, it feels the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Cups in the challenge position. I mean, this could, this could be Capricorn. There is some communication coming your way that's good to do with an opportunity, a fresh start. There's a feeling though that there is a need for, it, it feels in this respect, self-love, um, trusting your intuition on how you take action now. I think for some of you, when you allow yourself to get grip of your mind, how you're perceiving something, I mean, this is based in fact. Your mind isn't just focusing on the negative because it wants to. It's based on something that's making you feel that way. It's just the mind is distorting it. And I do feel that when you get clarity of the mind in this situation, you understand how to move forward in this situation. And I feel that's your challenge in this instance. Because the Ace of Cups, I mean, this can be, this can be opportunity. I mean, it's great in terms of creative opportunities or an opportunity that's going to allow you to express yourself fully. It is a new beginning. Um, it is an offer, most definitely. Something that is bringing you joy here. But it's almost kind of like you need to ground yourself to stop your mind almost playing tricks on you here. Focus on the practical things that you need to do to bring this positive shift and, and, and make it come to fruition. 
because what's going for you is don't fear the unknown. The unknown is exactly where you need to be. This can be about life choices, decisions, somebody realizing that they're in a stronger position than they, they realize. I mean, this person is realizing their own power, their own potential to bring new growth into their life, new success into their life. They're seeing a new vision and they're going for it. They're choosing what they want and what they don't want now. So I feel for some of you, you're going for something new. And it might well be more money, something that is allowing you to, you know, be more successful, bring greater wealth, abundance into your life. I mean, this is a great energy of, I mean, this is earth energy at its best because this is you in your element fulfilling your potential here. So it's a really nice energy of hard work being rewarded, going for what you want now. And you're going for this, nine of pentacles. Um... And I feel it's to do with a new job here, something that you're covertly working towards because the advice from spirit, and it's so beautiful, there's a feeling here that you will get the, the opportunity. What you've been working towards here, and I feel it's to do with this, bringing change in terms of your money career, but also maybe transitioning to a new start in a new place. It feels like you're gonna get the reward. This is you and your element, reasons to celebrate. You know, the past, this Nine of Swords is behind you. You are changing it from the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles here. That is the possibility, the potential of what this Two of Wands is offering you. Go for it, take action, go for what you want and leave what you don't want behind. So it feels like you're at that crossroads. It feels like you're at that threshold, Capricorn, of going for something that is going to bring you greater money, wealth, even maybe uh, title changes. Some of you might be going for some status or title changes here. And there's going to be some reasons to celebrate, I think, for some of you. Because it feels for some of you. The message with the Page of Pentacles is there can be some news to do with an offer. I feel this is what you've been working towards. I feel this is very much linked in with this Nine of Pentacles and is the goal achievement of what this Ten of Pentacles is representing. So it feels to me that there is some offer and opportunity coming your way. The page can be the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. The message, the communication. You might be talking to somebody about an opportunity. You might be going for interviews. You might be connecting to, to people. And this is something new. Um, this can also be where you might have done some work behind the scenes. Um, you might have got some more qualifications to get the next level up in terms of money and status as well. I'm feeling this is really good. You're putting your CV out, you're connecting to people, even recruitment agents as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's bringing you some, some level of celebration and opportunity that's yours. Because this is the Knight of Wands. The feeling of the opportunity is coming your way. What you've been taking action towards is arriving. It feels like the arrival here of the opportunity. Um, and it's bringing change. This is a beautiful energy. Of, it is changing. Um, and I feel this is the goal achievement. I mean, this is, um, it feels like more money. Very good in terms of status changes. This is what you've been working towards, the hard work. This is you achieving the goal here, Capricorn. You know, this is a great card of abundance, material success, goal achievement. Achieving the goal that you set out to do. You know, I'm bringing security, stability, safety, um, greater value in your life. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Don't undersell yourself as well, Capricorn. If if you're doubting your own skills and experience here, which is my might it might be why you've got some more skills to your belt as well, possibly with this page of pentacles. There can be a level of um Am I underselling myself, you know, or am I overselling myself or can I really do this energy? Can I really do this job? You know, you might be going for the next level up and you think, Am I qualified enough for it? cards are saying yes yeah this is something that you are qualified to do and you can do it's all this earth energy is saying this is something that is absolutely in line with your element um earth energy so i do feel for some of you don't doubt yourself know your value in this instance feels like there's a bit of doubt here 
um, don't doubt yourself. I absolutely feel that this is something that you will thrive at. It's so exciting, but yeah, three nights. Here's the, there's there's change. There's change. There's opportunity coming in. You're getting clarity. The, the the only challenge you have is your own mind. How you're perceiving something. How you're perceiving you. How you're letting something affect your mind, your energy as well. And as soon as you deal with that and you're aware of it, I think you're away. You're just away, and that's what this Knight of Swords is saying. Okay. There is victory here. Beautiful. So final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. Yeah, I like this because that's exactly what this is representing as well. If you think you're doing it on your own, you're not, which is why you're being told to trust your intuition with that Ace of Cups in the challenge position because you're being guided by your ancestors as well. I mean, this is a great energy of that too. Um, you're being watched over. We have the eagle. And again, the eagle is a great sign of the universe as well. God, the universe, the divine. So we have your ancestors are holding space for you to heal the past. Yeah. I think that's why you're being covert about something. Because there's, there's an uncertain situation that you're in. You're being told to do what you do best and ground yourself. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Yeah, I did say that. We have dog, divine service. How can you serve yourself better? But also you're being watched over. I'm feeling that really strongly. The, the timing is now. That's what you're being told. Um, yeah. <laughs> We have the swan, graceful transformation. Soften your heart and find your flow. And I, th I do think as soon as you deal with this situation here, the nine of swords, everything just falls into place. It does. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.